squad Shay here thank you for stopping by my channel Shay love hair we're here to talk about model models disco curl okay so this video was a request from Christina um all right girl I did this for you okay because I've been wanting to take this hair up for a long long time but <laughs> we're gonna get right into the video <laughs> All right, so like I said, I've had this hair in. This is Model Model Disco Wand Curl. I've had this hair in for three weeks now. Okay, so y'all know me. First of all, when I get my final review, y'all know that I like to live dangerously, right? No bonnet, really no shower cap. Um none of that no satin pillowcases none of that stuff you supposed to do i don't really do it okay i'm sorry i just don't i'm lazy like that i want my hair to look good and i don't want to have to do nothing to it hence crochets so <laughs> when i give you this review please keep that in mind um now if you were to do everything right this hair you would probably get about i would say probably four to five more weeks out of the hair but because i didn't do right it's just three week mark for me. I think that's a wrap. And um, also keep in mind that I actually refreshed this hair Monday, I think. I think it was this past Monday because my scalp was getting dry. So I was going to be pulling apart the hair so that I could get to my scalp anyway. So I was like, why don't I just go ahead and um, just refresh the whole thing. And yeah, I know I probably should have did a video for that. My bad. But it was literally before I was getting ready to go to work. So it was like 6 a.m. Um... You know, I, I was in my robe and, you know, it was just rough. It wouldn't have been a good video for you guys. But basically, all I did to refresh it was um, pull apart the curls um, so that I could access my scalp. I put some coconut oil and some water in a spray bottle and I sprayed my my hair down real good. And um, then I sprayed a little bit on this hair and continued to separate the curl. And then I trimmed any frizzies that was around and, you know, towards the end um and just kind of reshaped it back to where i wanted to wear it that was basically all i did to refresh it um but as far as the hair goes like when i wet it the texture did change and it did become a little rougher uh so like i wouldn't recommend this hair for like beach you know trips or uh, water parts anything like that because once it gets wet and this was just with a spray bottle so i can imagine if you're in um you know salt water or even you know pool water i can imagine how the chlorine would change the the texture of this hair so for that being said like i said i would not recommend this as like vacation hair um inside note I'm thinking about doing that, doing a um, like summertime kind of series um, for like beach hair and then like cooler weather hair, um, stuff like that since we're coming into this summer season. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, let me know. Um, give me some feedback on that. So anyway, this hair. So let me give you a, see, let me get close up. Can you see? I mean, it's not like super, super bad. And yes, I could probably refresh it and retrim it and it would probably be okay as far as like how you can see it. But I don't know. It's something about the roughness of it I don't like. Now, it didn't make it stiff. It still has bounce. It still has bounce. So, I mean, overall, as far as like you know how much you're paying for the hair versus what you're getting i think is it's a pretty even trade like you're getting what you pay for because um it's not one of those things where you're going to be able to just um put you know put up in a bun which is what i did a lot of times put it up in like a puff and then break it down and you just do this and everything's okay that's not how it's going to happen uh trust me i've tried it a few times <laughs> with this hair and it just didn't work out so um what i end up doing like when i put it up in a puff or uh, work or whatever i was doing um when i get ready to take it down and want to try to look some kind of decent like i had to like go through pull apart get the frizzies out and everything and see it like and then some of the curls they stretch out like 
I was forever like trimming these little random things like this. So, I mean, but again, the price of it is like $5.99 a bag at my beauty supply store. And then they were having to buy one, no, buy two, get one free. And so I, this style cost me, you know, $12. So $12, three week hairstyle. I mean, that's $4 a week. So I'm okay with it. You know, like it's, it's okay. It's okay. But if you're trying to do something extra with it, you're trying to go to the beach, you know, you're finna get your hair wet, something like that. It's not something that I would, I would buy. But if you're just trying to, you know, put something in, it's cool. Now, as far as the weather goes, um, because the texture of it changed, it made it less comfortable to wear in the heat for me. Um, when I first put it in, it was, it was soft. Um, it had a kinkiness to it, but it wasn't like a rough kinkiness. It had that textured little, you know how they do when they try to make it look textured. It's a more like a crimp in it. Um, and so it was still smooth enough to where like you, you got access to your scalp easily and, um, you know, the wind blew and you could still feel it go through your scalp and, and all of that. But in wearing it and because I, you know, I have been wearing, um, shower caps and, um, definitely when I like refreshed it and actually sprayed the hair down, um, thinking that was going to help something, but it didn't, it changed the texture. And so it made it where you really could not, you couldn't feel the wind blow in your hair anymore. Like it, so it made it hotter for me. So, you know, I, I, I don't know if this is really a summertime kind of style. I mean, as far as the length goes, you know, the curly bob, of course, that's in. And it's a classic style. So, I mean, it's cute. But it ain't going to be that cool if you're trying to be outside for a long time. And can you hear it? Let me see if you can hear it. I don't know if the mic will catch that, but... Do you hear it? I'm sorry. Do you hear the roughness in it? Like, so, you know, I, it's cute. Like if you, if you're on the outside looking in, if you're somebody that's just looking at it, you think, okay, yeah, that's cute, but it feels rough. And so, and it also makes it a bit more itchy, especially when you're hot. So, I don't know. And then let me see, like, so if I wanted to, well, that's not a bad one. So you have to like separate it. It's kind of, so, I mean, and that comes with most crochet hair. Um, and especially after three weeks of living dangerously, like I do. So, I mean, that's normal, but yeah, there is, you know, that matting. Though you can't really see it. But you know, curls, when you talk about bigger curls like this, it camouflages a lot of the actual matting. You know, you can feel it, but you can't see it as much. So, I mean, as far as like a general rating for me, um, out of one, <laughs> one being the worst and 10 being the best, I give it a five. I mean, I get what I pay for. It's not extremely, you know, just great. It didn't, you know, last and it wasn't perfection like the full three weeks. But again, that's because I didn't treat it like, you know, a diamond and, and do everything I was supposed to do with it. So, you know, what do you expect? I mean, so to me, it just kind of broke even and then the price was cheap. So, you know, but I wouldn't pay over $20 for it. That's for sure. So if you see it somewhere else and it's more expensive, baby, just keep going, keep going. But as far as, I mean, the overall, I give it a five, a five out of 10. So yeah, that's it. So as far as the hair goes, it's pretty much all I have to say about that. However, um, I just wanted to run something by y'all. Um, again, of course, I want to start out with thank you so much for everything that y'all have done for me. Thank you for all of your support, the comments, the likes, the inboxes, joining the group. Uh, following me on Instagram, all that great stuff, man. I just want to say 
thank you from the bottom of my heart because I started this in it, you know, almost an experiment, like maybe because people were saying, well, you know, why don't you have one? You don't have one. And so I was like, eh, I'll do it because they asked me. I didn't realize that I was going to enjoy it so much. I didn't realize that it would be so great and <laughs> uh, so rewarding. And I just really, really enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. It's a little work, but I enjoy that work because I mean, I don't know. I just love creating things and I never thought about YouTube um, being an outlet uh, for that. So anyway, um, I say this, say this, my channel is coming to a very um, important transition. Um, and I'm trying to say it without saying it because um, I don't want to give anything away. And also I don't want to jinx it, <laughs> but, um, it's, it's, it's turning into something really great. And, um, I have some celebratory things that's coming. And, um, one of the things I wanted to do was an actual introduction video because I realized that I, I really haven't done that. And even in my intro section on my YouTube, it's just like straight to the point what to expect, but it has nothing about, you know, my personal life, um, or anything like that. So I want to do that. I want to let you guys in. And so uh, one of the things I want to do, like I said, when that time comes, I want to be able to do an introduction video. However, I don't know what you guys want to know, you know, like, I don't know. So like, I see like some YouTubers do like random facts about themselves and I guess I could do that and maybe I'll put that in there. Um, but I also want to know what you want to know. So, um, in any of my videos, uh, it doesn't matter which one. Um, or you can um, inbox me or, you know, I'm on Instagram under uh, Shay Love Hair. Um, I want you guys to ask questions about anything, whether it's personal, work, what I do, you know, my kids, you know, anything like that. Anything that you want to know, just drop it in the comment section. And I'm going to use those questions for my intro um, video when that time comes. So... Uh, I would appreciate anything, anything that comes to mind. Just drop it down below, okay? And um, I don't know. I think that's it. I just wanted to say thank you so much. <laughs> and I love you all so very much. Anyway, so, all right. I hope you guys like this hair. I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you haven't seen the... Uh, did I do an installation? No, I was sick. So I didn't do an installation video for this hair, but the first impression video is out. So if you want to see that, um, I'll have it in the suggested videos up top. I think that's it. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Peace and blessings.